Hey love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe, you know, you know, please go ahead and share. And so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And I'm hoping that you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, all characters of your life are necessary for the growth of of all levels you know it is is strengthening you it's giving you um insight for yourself you know the do's and the don'ts the highs and the lows the goods and the bads being able to you know get you straight into that balancing vibe you know um there's so many different things that's going on in our lives and you know we even carry multiple characters in our lives you know there's uh parts of us that we uh project towards others that we're comfortable around there's people you know there's a different character we have when we're around our family and there's a whole different character when we're you know about ourselves you know um and you're, you're going through your uh isolation and solitude you know we're going through ins and outs of that right now you're going through a lot of spiritual awakenings you're going through a lot of kundalini um awakenings you're going through uh, a lot of shadow work dark night of the soul all these different things that are you know uh taking place and uh different things oh it's my daughter she got i forgot she got to go to school today um you're going through all these different things and um i forgot that you had it you ain't going to school today oh okay sorry about that um you're going through all these different things and this is a part of your growth you know you're really trying to understand your purpose you're really trying to understand you you know um and all those different things that are taking place um they can truly allow you to get to know yourself you know um all the different experience i've had in my life you know it got to a point where i'm like Ugh, i'm tired of this or oh my god i'm so excited about this or hey do i gotta go through this again but now it's at that point in my life where i'm saying i have to be allowing myself to stay open uh towards learning if you want to get towards your higher self you want to get towards your best self you have to be willing to you know explore all options into your life you know um if you're connecting with people and it just don't work out you know it there's expert you know there, there was the experience that you need to learn from that situation if you're going through life where it, it can feel uncertain right now you're just you know having that big question i don't know where my life is going and you know i'm just trying to find my purpose i thought i knew my purpose um and I'm really just trying to understand, you know, and a lot of times it's just like, you know, like I said in the other video, a lot of times we just stay focused because we may have wanted something in our lives. And it's just like universe that you may have wanted this, but, you know, I want you to deserve you. You deserve this. So, you know, we're taking you through all these different, uh, you know, we're taking you all through these different road ways, you know. It's just like you if you love road trips, you know, sometimes it was just like I love doing that a child uh, as a child and at times, you know, and it'll be different things. Um, but now it'll be at times like, ugh, I can't stand, you know, if I can go through plane train, you know, non automobile, then I'll be OK. You know, as long as I'm good, sometimes I'll be, you know, I get real antsy if I got to stay in the car too long, you know, and it'll be just like, can I just get to point A to point B? But then there'll be some times where. You know, universe is guiding you to be able to take a road trip, you know, be able to see different nature. You know, sometimes, you know, people like, especially with my kids, you know, I used to be like that. But then, it, you know, then I'm just like very introverted. You know, I saw like people, but then I don't, you know, I don't like being around all the energy at times. But then they're like, mom, I can't be staying in the house like you. That'll drive me nuts and this and this and that. So it's with a pandemic towards a lot of people that are extroverted. You know, that drove them crazy. And it's just like, if you introverted, they're like, shoot, that's a normal with me every day. You know, I don't care. But it's it's just like you're finding out so many different things to strengthening your soul the strengthening your your vibration is strengthening your light is um helping you acknowledge your power within yourself you know you're finding out all these different things from your life and it is just like when i see it it is just like there's sometimes i can't even come up with a word with it but it's just saying 
you know, I'm just getting so much gratitude. Even though I may be getting frustrated with stuff at the time, it's like there's a reason why you may not be able to do this right now. Or there's a reason why that this may be going this way at that time. Or this may be a reason why, you know, universe is pushing you to do this. And sometimes it's just like, sometimes, you know, loosen up the reins a little bit. Loosen it up. You ain't got to be so serious all the time. You ain't got to be so negative about what well, they'll tell you is stop being negative. Put it that way. Let me retort this. So you got to stop being negative all the time. You know, being able to say, this may, you know, th this one decision may be opening up a whole new door for you, you know, and you just don't know. Something that you're scared to do may be a whole game changer for you, or it, it can be creating a whole new avenue for you, and all these different things. And it's like, you, you got to be able to appreciate all characters you're connecting with in your life. You know, we have, um, we're, we're dissolving old paradigms. You know, different things that we were we were believing in, we were able to see in. You're starting to allow yourself to know, am I limiting myself or am I allowing myself to say all reins are gone? I'm just allowing myself to just go ahead and just keep, you know, you got to be able to be aware of your cautions, but not allow yourself to be so restricted when universe is, you know, giving you that go ahead. Hey, I need you to go this way, you know, because sometimes we can play safe. We play small. You know, we want small when they're telling you be a little bit bigger. You know, he's like, well, you want this? No, a little bit more. Come on. You know, you want this? No, come on. A little bit more. I'm like, well, I don't. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you do. You know, you, you know, because sometimes we know exactly what it is, but sometimes we fear that, you know, because sometimes, you know, you may believe, you know, there are sometimes it could be family that told you, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. You're, you know, why are you dreaming so big or why are you thinking so outside of yourself? A lot of times you have to think outside of yourself. Right now, we're unlearning a lot of things that our family has passed down to us what the yays and the nays was supposed to be. The highs and lows or, oh, you can't go past that or you can do this and you can't do that. We're resetting. It's like a factory reset on everything. You know, when they say, you know, you, you know we're into that that thing where it's uh, breaking generational curses, it, it, that, that's not something easy to do. You know, it's going to have a lot of statistics with it. It's going to have a lot of, you know... Things are going to get crazy. But in that way, you know, it's like I'm trying to be very selective on what words I'm using about that. But, you know, you're learning a lot of different things about that. Because it's just like we, we've been so used to doing stuff a certain way for so long. And a lot of times we don't realize you're creating something very powerful in your life. When things start getting very uncomfortable and it start getting confusing and crazy because it's, it's getting you out of that norm. Because sometimes we can play safe and be very repetitive. About different things in our life when it's telling us, hey, you, okay, we, we did set you on this vibration and this level, but now it's time for you to jump to another one because sometimes we play safe because we know exactly, you know, it's just like you watching a, a movie, you know, a million times. Yes, that's good for it to be your favorite movie, but can you watch a different movie? You already know how this is going to end. You already know what character is going to be. If you if it's a horror movie, you already know who the villain is. You know, or you know, why don't you get into a thriller? Or why don't you play into a comedy? They want you to be able to, you know, do different things and stuff like that. Um, to be able to explore all different options of your life, you know, all different, you know, things. Because it's just like um, a lot of the content that they're having me on, on different things they want me to say in the videos. It's all about exploring different options. It's all about allowing yourself to change different directions. Be, um, you know, be able to expect the unexpected just because, you know, your path has been led to this this way for so long you have to be able to understand when universe felt like you have learned enough from that situation or you have had enough of this connection you know even if it ends that doesn't mean that it may not come back to that anyway or it could be you know they're heading you towards something else and they want you to remember exactly what happened at, you know even if it's like a purpose or it's a person or it's a relationship or whatever basically it's a relationship with everything it just, just doesn't have to be with a lover or a friend a family member but it's a relationship with yourself that you're learning something new about you know and you're finding out different characters of it and it, it's just like when you you know your your life is a, a movie everybody has their character they have the evil villain they got uh hit, hidden you know you got cliffhangers this is like you know especially if it's like one of those shows that you have that you watch and then it, it'll make me mad when they'll be right there uh uh that something's gonna happen they'll be like oh 
you know, the next time on such and such a, I'm like, are you serious? This is really going to end this like this. And it'll be right on the Friday. It could be something that's on every day and then it'll get really good on Friday. This is how they get you going. Because if you already know, it'll be just like, uh, you know, anybody is this, this around my age, you know, you're a 70s baby. And especially if your family or even you got addicted to watching soap operas. It's like Luke and Laura, this, you know, Jesse, you know, Angela, you know, different stuff like this. You know, what is it? The Buchanan's and stuff like that. You know, Dynasty and, you know, Dukes. No, it wasn't that. Dukes of Hazard. Uh, Dynasty, not slandered. All my children, Young and the Restless, General Hospital, all those different things. You already know they had that coming on every day. You know, Brad and, and Victor and uh, Nikki and, and, and Victoria and Victor and Nicholas and all that crazy mess. I don't even watch stuff like that. And what what's his name? Um, oh, God, what is his name? God, dog. I forgot his name. Sonny. Yeah, Sonny. Everybody used to, you know, it was like my mom and my sister. They used to, girl, the Sonny is fine. You're like, Sonny. You know, like all those different ones. And be, um, you know, but it's just like you're finding your character within yourself. And, you know, it can be. It can be exciting at times, and it'll be like, man, you, you know, it's just like one of, them, one of them nail biters, and you're just really trying to understand. But these are all necessary experiences that's going to be able to guide you towards that next level. It's being able to show you your power. It's being able to show you hidden talents that was you had to get towards a certain level to be able to find it. It's just like, you, you know, matter of fact, example, for a game. You know, if you're Warcraft or Minecraft, whatever that mess is, I say I haven't been playing that like that since, you know, Nintendo. Regular Nintendo, not 64, 62, and, and, and PS4, 5, and 20, or whatever that y'all be playing nowadays. You know, I had the Game Boy. <laughs> you know, the Game Boy and Sega. You know, used to watch Sonic the Hedgehog and um, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and stuff like that. Mine was just like uh, 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 Mario Brothers. That was mine with the duck hunt and all that junk. You know, I used to have the duck hunt and Nintendo with, the, you know, the the... the, the you know, the game controller with the gun and stuff like playing duck hunt and all that junk. Even I got my mom into that. She's like, no, this is addictive. I can't be dealing with all this. It's going to work my nerves because things don't work right, you know. And, um, you know, especially like when you had to pull the game out and you had to blow in it. <laughs> you know, but that's how, you know, that's how the world is. That's how your life is. You know, you're exploring so many different things because it's like when you allow yourself, even when you get on the phone with somebody who's really on that vibe, I love that. When you can um, be with somebody, especially on that spiritual vibe. It, well, that's just anything. If you know that you can talk to somebody that is truly on that vibe of knowing exactly what you're talking about, going through, you know, that is, I mean, that is like heaven on earth. You know, like, girl or man, you know, when you went through this, like, what did you say? You know, shut your mouth and keep on talking. You remember this and this and this and that? And just be cracking up laughing at different things like that. You know, even when I, I was like, let me not get on my chats. Because you're like, Rosalind, you don't do chat no more. And I said, I'm, like I said, I'm restarting different things. You know, so I'm trying to fit that into the schedule. I'm trying to do different things out. But, you know, um, just going through all these different things. And being able to uh, change up for a minute. Or, you know, just change up, Period. And just just being able to see all these different things is taking place. You know, you're opening new doors for you. You know, because it's just like, you know, with me trying out new different things right now. It feels exciting to me because now it's allowing me to challenge myself. You know, if I say, okay, I want to do this and this and that. Okay, am I, you know, and then holding myself to me, holding myself to my commitments because see, it was like I had an issue with doing that with myself. I would say I'm gonna do something, and then if I get in my depressed mode or something just ain't working out for me, I'm like, bump it, I ain't doing it. And a lot of times, you don't know that could just be the test just to see are you, are you seeing how much changes you're going through? Are you seeing how you know? Uh, the sequence is changing up for you, you know, because life is a big test anyway. Because a lot of times, you know, universe knows your dad, universe and God knows your weaknesses, and the devil do too. Because especially if it's gonna be something that's holding you back, it's gonna be right there. Like if you' supposed to be strict on your diet, next thing you know, somebody say, "Hey, you want this jelly donut?" And you got the sprinkles on the top, and you like. No, it's like, well, you know, it ain't going to hurt this time. Yeah, and then it's going to be a next time. It's going to be a next time. And next, you know, you're trying to fit into these pants. Or you're trying to fit into this by this time. You know, this is coming on to beach body, you know, uh, season. So are you ready to be out there like that? Or you thinking you're going to be one of, like, one of the blowed up floaties or whatever like that? You know, it, 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 everything is a big test right now. 
to what is telling you to explore this and know your options you know um don't see everything as a negative way even when it's not going your way um everything is happening to the best of you and a lot of times you be getting the side eye be hearing that mess like oh okay whatever but when you get to that point when you're getting out of that vibration and this is not to you know give you that vibration of a naysayer that's not trying to kill you kill your vibration this is like rosin i'm really not trying to hear that right now but a lot of times you need to hear that and i'll be like that with myself a lot of times you need to hear that boo if you really trying to make your life better sometimes you're gonna have to listen to that mess that you don't want to hear if you know you trying to get into a better better vibration you can't sit up here and get mad at somebody else getting that blessing or walking into that door of abundance you know when they did the work they there sometimes they had to do something they did not want to do they had to sit up here and get aggressive with themselves they wanted to lay back and be lazy this day or they didn't get sleep that day because a lot of times god will sit up here and be giving you so many daggone downloads your buddy ain't able to sleep and then next thing you know he's giving you this this aha moment like i need you to do this today I'm like but you had me up all night and andy had me all these crazy dreams and i was having hot flashes and thinking i was going for it when i went all the way back what do you want me to do you gotta keep it ready you gotta stay ready come on now there's gonna be sometimes you gotta get up because last night i only had like about probably about two or three hours of sleep I, when i say i've been going through spiritual awakenings upgrades down low purges clearing out all those different things my butt is going through it right now and I'm just like, and my mind is wide open and just giving universe saying thank you. Even then when something's getting on my nerves, because I'm not, you know, I'm that type of person. So I ain't get that much sleep. It don't take much to get on my nerves like that. And I had to get out of myself and saying, stop letting everything get to you. And that's the reason why a lot of times God will do that just to see if you break it. Because right now, this is what we've been doing for the longest time. You're breaking out of old habits. You're breaking out of old toxic patterns, toxic ways. Getting out of that vibration of thinking about toxic things all the time. Still connecting the toxic vibrations of yourself and other people. You know, so these are all the characters you're needing into your life because you're breaking old cycles. You know, and I was just like, Dad, where did that come from? The universe was guiding me to say that. You're breaking old cycles. And when we're doing that, you're getting out of addictions if it was a drinking addiction a smoking cigarette addiction you know there'll be something right there you're like hey you, you know you may be talking to somebody and you're like they'll be smoking this and like dang i ain't had a cigarette all day and it's been frustrating and you smell it like hey can i get a cigarette from you and then be like oh yeah sure you know and god was like you sure you're gonna light that up you you sure you lighting that up? Because you just told me you were ready to change. And now it's like, you know, he, he'll put that right there. And you're like, you know, you're wrong for that. No, I'm not wrong. <laughs> you know, I'd be like, no, I'm not wrong. But, you know, just getting off of that. But, you know, just going through all the different things into your life. It, it's creating a, a, a solid structure of your building character you know your building character you had to be able to go through all these things you had to be able to connect with all these things and all that and you're going through constant tests you're going to go through different experiences just to see how you're going to respond to it are you going to observe you know how they say a lot of times things will be putting out there are you going to focus on what's relevant or what's irrelevant you know god's telling you hey you know, I'm trying to get you towards your abundance. There's so many distractions coming to you that way. God is not going to just hand you something simple like that. You know, even though we wish everything can be handed to us like that. But it's just like, if God is telling you to do something, he wants you to, he wants to put something in your lap that's going to keep growing, keep elevating, keep adding towards that. And when you're doing that, they're going to put distractions on you. Like I, you've heard me say a lot of times, God and devil go hand in hand, but they both got different reasons for doing what they're doing. You know, one is trying to get you to grow strength and the other one's trying to get you to distract. So, you know, you're going through all these different things and you're exploring all uh, different entities of you. You know, you're seeing yourself, you know, it's just when you get that time to yourself, you see so many different things that happen. And when you allow yourself to really, you know, walk down memory lane as, you know, uh, let me see how you want to say that. It's not like, you, you know, you... You know, like, oh, I remember when this happened. or I remember. But just being able to see how much you have changed. You know, because a lot of times things may have felt like it didn't change for you. But they always try to remind you you are nowhere near the person you were when you first started this. You're nowhere near it. Because, you, I mean, even when you woke up on a different day and you know 
when you're open to change, when you can say, you know what, yesterday with this problem, yesterday was that problem. Let me allow myself to fix that. So if this reoccurs today, or even if it recurs some down, down, down the line through next week or something like that, I already know. If this is something out of my my, my control, is something I can change. Okay. I almost have to do it. You know, and it's all that simple. So this is creating all the characters um, that are necessary for your growth. You know, and you're learning to do that. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. And I would love to give a uh, post notification shout out to Nikki. And much love to you as well. Um, God dog. Val Stover, much love to you as well. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Angel Fish, much love to you, and Jesse Lee. And if you're new to the channel, much love to you. It's so good to have you. Please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. You know, I'll leave all my contact um, information in the description box below. You know, um, and as as well as my um, link to my podcast. Ugh, I don't know why I had problem problem saying that. You know, problem. Anyways, I'll leave that in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking just to give you on a deeper horizon, being able to understand your, your purpose on a deeper level. You know, if you want to share something with me, you may be going through experience and you're really trying to understand it. You know, and I try my best, my best to be able to help you out and give you that either through experience or through the, the information that universe guides me to be able to tell you. So, you know, that'll be able to, you know, be able to uplift you and just broaden your horizons for it. Because like I said, I really love that purpose, you know, really being able to understand because a lot of times we feel alone on our path and you just you'll be so surprised when there are so many different people that can really uh connect with the things that you're facing and things you're going through so you know that's a good thing so i hope you have a blessed weekend please be responsible and safe for everything that you're doing you know have a safe weekend and um whatever you're manifesting into your life you know don't stop you know be persistent be consistent you know there's so many different things to step in you know heading towards your way that you didn't even expect so you know just keep going and it will be here either it can be around the corner or it'll be at least when you least expect it so keep going keep believing in yourself try to make go off and make your dream your reality see you on my next video much love to you god bless namaste peace